Hello and welcome welcome back to our continuing adventures in the Let's Defend platform. Today we are going to tackle SOC 127, event ID 60, or SQL injection detected for February 14th, 2021, 105 p.m. To note, this ends the last for the mid to late February, and we're just basically left with everything at the beginning of February, and then of course what we still have to cover for April and then May, so I am effectively a month behind. No, oh, I guess technically two months, but no, oh, not much I can do about it, but we'll just keep going until we can't go any further. So, this looks like we have an internal machine, or internal to internal communication. So, what? Pen test machine to get server. Uh, user agent penetration test do not contain. Hmm. Well, I guess at that particular point, we go back and figure out, okay, what did you guys learn? What did you guys actually touch? Since this would be like after action, just so we can confirm that yes, you guys, are, this is authorized testing activity. But just from the requested URL, granted I'm no SQL injection master, but the end after the IP address definitely looks like that would be SQL. So what we'll do is we will right click and search. Yeah, that, that definitely looks like SQL injection. <laughs> select asterisk from db.users union select. Oh, okay, so that's that definitely looks like it. Uh, we take a look. Do we have any sort of logs on Git server for the 14th? No, for the 13th and then the 22nd. Okay. No network connection logs. All right, 172, 16, 25, not 53, son of a... Uh, There we go, Pentest Machine dot five Ubuntu within the ten year time period that we would kind of expect. Last activity was on the fourteenth. Though interesting that we have no logs coming from that. Okay, let's look inbound underneath log management for the Git server as the source of the communications. Got stuff for the 13th and the 21st, but nothing on the 14th. So let's reverse that. Let's look at traffic coming to, or the destination being the Git server. And right off the bat, we have 14th at 101, from the dot 5 to the dot 4, and the raw is exactly what we observed before for the requested URL. Device action was allowed. Oh goody, we're going to get to the whole aspect as to whether or not if this was malicious or not. I'm just thinking ahead. <laughs> oh, well, if it's penetration test do not contain, I guess we just yeah. If it's a test, yeah, let's treat it as malicious. Let's follow the playbook. Let's see what shakes out. Alright, so what do we have on the playbook? Alright, so we're going to refer back to the info that we grabbed. So, user agent... Requested URL and source IP. The 
this back out. Okay. Yep. Still skittish every single time. I have to do a user agent copy and paste. Alright, so we've got that. Search the log. Yes, we find it. Analyze the URL address. Oh, well, cripe. <laughs> I mean, an allowed SQL injection? I mean, we really can't run it through any of these because this is internal to internal. So, we're just going to say it's malicious. Again, this may come back to bite me in the posterior in terms of points, but I think I can make a fairly logical and laid out case. Don't have any emails, but we do have an IP address. Of course, that, no, actually, no, it's not a 192, it's a 172. But I mean, what are we going to do? Set all of our host based firewalls to deny all traffic? I don't know. I guess we'll see. Has anyone accessed it? Um, yeah, the pen test machine tried to access it. Well, actually, I believe that, uh, get server. Yeah, it's already in quarantine. Because it had other issues previously that needed to be fixed. Finish the playbook. Ah, uh, we'll see. <laughs> uh, it is a true positive. I mean, it. Uh, the statement is SQL injection. Need to confirm activity as being legit from a authorized pen test. Perspective. In other words, to the people that know, know that this was going on. Or was this actually a machine that was targeted at this particular time? Although I do find it funny that the event time was 1.05 p.m., but according to the firewall log, it was 1.01 p.m. Oh well. Alright. Close the alert, and we'll see as to whether or not if I get smacked regarding points. Well, everything else there, but they smacked in regards to true positive. Now, I will probably drop them a line in regards to that. I mean, we don't have standing orders that pen test act activity is to be considered a false positive. I mean, the alert was for SQL injection. And you I have a hard time believing that this is not SQL injection when there are roughly 2.5 million results in Google that talk about that this is an SQL injection union attack. But hey, I could be wrong. Somebody may know exactly what this is all supposed to accomplish in SQL. I mean, I guess, can we... Always duplicate. So 
Select A, B from Table 1, Union select C and D from Table 2. 1 and 1, 2, 3, 4 equals select. I think it's just kind of put together in an interesting way. But, oh well, oh, notes are going to be actually be kind of light today. I didn't have to run anything through virus total. <laughs> oh, and I can't really run any of these things because they're all internal addresses. Oh well. But as it sits, that was SOC 127 SQL injection detected, event ID 60. For February 14th, 2021, 105 p.m. And I will see everyone on the next video.